Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowlands and today I have a layout for Bella Boulevard and I am using the Let Us Adore Him collection which is the new Christmas one that has just landed with me and I'm playing along with the sketch, this week's sketch challenge. Um, so um, the sketch has four stripes of different colours. Um, this could be read as a block on its own or it could be read as the four stripes like it is. Um, it could be done in the gradients. I first of all reached for the stripy paper that's in the kit um, or in the um, collection. It has lots of different stri colours, stripes on it. They are all solid colours. Um, but then I decided that actually, they're quite narrow as well, and I decided that actually I would like to do a red and green layout um, rather than a multicoloured one. Um, and um, I decided to pick out some of my favourite prints um, from this collection um, and create my strips um, like that. So I've pulled out four different patterns. I've got the red candy stripe at the bottom, I've got a red dot above it, then I have this green uh, cross crosshatch, um, and then at the top I have the pink uh, background with the um, green holly leaves. Um, so yeah, really, really pretty papers, very Christmassy. Um, I have loads of Christmas photos from last year that are not scrapped. I do December, um, I do a December album every year. So a lot of my photos end up in there, but I don't actually do much Christmas scrapbooking because of that. And of course, photos are limited too in um, a December album because I would normally only include one photo per day, occasionally two. Um, but um, as such, I choose the best photo for that day, um, but uh, <clears throat> therefore lots of my Christmas photos go unscrapped. So um, it's actually really nice to reach back to last year. Obviously, I don't have any Christmas photos for 2021 just yet because uh, it's still only the beginning of November. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, so I've reached back to last year, but it's actually a really nice opportunity to scrap these photos. So this one here is Christmas Eve. Um, they've left um, milk and cookies for Santa and carrots for Rudolph. Um, my little one was already in bed, so unfortunately he's not in the photo too. Um, but um, <clears throat> the two big ones are... And they're either side of our fireplace, which is actually really nice because um, we normally spend Christmas away from home. Um, so last year we were actually at home because of course of COVID and we couldn't go anywhere. So um, we were actually um, almost in pretty much lockdown over Christmas. Um, so um, it was actually, I actually really enjoyed it um, because I say we normally go away. So we don't have the comforts of home. Um, I have all my beautiful Christmas decorations at home that just sit there. Um, with no one to look at them because we're not there. Um, so um, actually, I absolutely loved being at home for Christmas. Um, this year, 2021, is going to be our last Christmas away. So hopefully I'll have many more Christmases um, at home in the future. But we haven't had Christmas at home for years um, until last year. So I really loved it. Um, so um, <clears throat> anyway, it was a lot colder than where we normally go. So <laughs> but that was the only bad thing. Um, okay, so um, I've got my four stripes. I've cut them to two inches wide. Um, I've distressed the edges of each one um, and I have added machine stitching all the way around the outside edge of each one as well. Um, and kind of like uh, raised them up a little bit um, too so that they have um, a bit of you know extra distressing, if you like, um, between the stripes. Um, so now I'm just reaching for all the embellishments in the Let Us Adore Him collection um, and I'm working out what can go where. Um, <clears throat> I've also put out a, um, a acrylic word, it just says Christmas and it's in red. So the, the red on the red looks good and I'm going to add to that to make it say Christmas Eve, but I'm going to do that a bit later on. Um, I loved the giant 25 um, on the chipboard sheet, so that's gone on the green section um, and I've pulled out various other chipboard pieces from that chipboard sheet. I've got some trees, I've got some flowers. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, and two presents or like gifts. Um, so um, they're looking um, lovely actually. I love chipboard, it's a great, um, gives good dimension and a whole different feel to flat stickers. So I'm a big fan of chipboard. The only trouble with chipboard is it tends to fall off. Um, so I quite often reinforce it with additional adhesive like glossy accents or um, my hot glue gun. Um, I find those work quite well and then it doesn't go anywhere. Alternatively, I stitch through it on my sewing machine and then it really will never go anywhere. So um, definitely uh, something extra that needs doing there with chipboard just because it's, um, it's not flexible like foam. Um, and therefore, if you move the layout at all, it can really easily kind of ping off. Um, so that's why, and that's chipboard across any 
collection any manufacturer that just happens with standard chipboard um so uh, so yeah I've always reinforce your chipboard um, quite often I add it I add things I add chipboard on foam pads as well which gives it even more dimension um, so but that's another way of, of getting it to stay on the layout um, okay so I'm just carrying on going through the ephemera there's two packs of ephemera one with kind of icons and one with larger items um, and then the sticker sheet as well um, so here is where I am going to um, extend my title to say Christmas Eve um, so I have the red stickers from the um, cardstock stickers uh, that come in the collection pack um, and um, I have just stuck uh, the three letters EVE onto white cardstock and the reason I did that was because they would have got lost in the patterns of the red and the white stripes um, they wouldn't have shown up very well at all so um, what I've done is I've put them onto white cardstock and then trimmed around them quite closely um, just to leave a small white border <clears throat> but you can see that they now stand out much much better than they would have done had they have just gone directly onto um, the red background. Um, okay, so I'm just carrying on now, getting everything stuck in place. Um, I've put everything onto the layout. I'm now taking everything off the layout. And uh, I just need to get everything stuck down. So I am um, continuing to just move things around, get them stuck. Um, any kind of stickers or ephemera, I tend to stick flat at the bottom um, and then um, raise up the top sections on foam pads because I like to give my um, embellishments lots and lots of dimension. Um, I've got the Christmas tree at the top. I'm kind of aiming for color on color. I've got two gifts at the top. Again, they're pink on the pink section. I've got the red and pink heart on the pink section and a chipboard word that says Christmas. Um, just above the photo on, on the green section, I have a tree, the 25, um, the word December. I have a green heart. I have Christmas trees. And then on the red section, I obviously have the title and I have a Christmas present. Um, and then I have all the red, red and pink flowers to the left of the photo. I've also mounted my photo onto a pink journaling card from one of the cut apart sheets um, in the collection. Um, so again, I was trying to kind of go color on color. Um, I was going to go for red, but it was going to spill over into the green section. So I decided to go for pink instead, being a color that's in the layout, but contrasts to both of those. Um, so, um, so yeah, so um, it's coming together really nicely. I'm happy how it looks. I do love a sketch because a sketch is a really great starting point, isn't it? It's really easy to grab a sketch and then just get started. Um, you don't have to make those decisions about where items are going to go on the page. And today I have stuck fairly closely to the sketch. Um, it has file tabs on the sketch. I haven't added those in, um, but I have got lots of things um, on the layers. Um, and it has a stitched border around the edge of the big um, colorful block in the middle. Um, and instead of doing that with stitching, I'm actually writing my journaling around the outside edge uh, in my tiny handwriting uh, with a very uh, narrow, thin journaling pen. It's, I use a 0.1 journaling pen quite often in black. Um, so, and then, and then unfortunately I spelt, um, <clears throat> what did I spell? I spelt pajamas wrong. I was really annoyed. Uh, so I've kind of hoped that no one will notice. Uh, it still kind of reads pajamas, but, um, it's definitely spelt wrong. Just had a bit of a moment there. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to finish off with some white splatters of acrylic paint. Now this won't show up hugely because obviously, um, it's going to go onto white card, but it will show up on the colorful areas, um, uh, and over the red flowers too. And that is me done. So all finished. Um, so yeah, I hope that um, you've enjoyed this layout. Um, do check out the Let Us Adore Him collection. It's super cute, really, really gorgeous, um, lovely colors um, and perfect for Christmas, of course. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Bella Boulevard using the Let Us Adore Him collection. <laughs>